Four teens could be facing adult criminal charges after a fight at East High School that left another student injured. Police say a group attacked a 16-year-old boy in an empty classroom during a lunch hour. Tahalil Mohideen has the story. Brady, that was actually one of three fights that happened yesterday involving MMSD students. Two were off campus, which district leaders say is often the case. But yesterday, the conflict in one of those fights led to another fight inside East High School. Students at East High say they're not surprised to see a fight break out at school. We hear like people chanting, like they're, they're going to fight and stuff. And so it kind of had me worried for a second. News of a fight on campus just yesterday has some thinking back to the incidents of last fall. A series of safety concerns. The worst fight involving dozens of students and police using pepper spray to break them up. I'm a senior here, but from what I've seen, it's just been absolutely chaotic. But MMSD leaders say despite the latest fight on school grounds, they're still making progress. I feel like we need some grace. District spokesperson Tim Lamont says last year fights were larger scale because student spectators would jump in and others would egg them on. But now he says that culture has since changed at East. We really worked hard uh, with our students to recognize that they that that is not helping. Really tried to just, you know, kind of ignore, kind of stay out of the situation. Lamont acknowledges there are still some students struggling to resolve their conflicts without violence. So since last year, they've also focused a lot on prevention. What I would say is um, to our families, just be confident that we're working with these, with these students. Be confident that we're working with these families in order to get them to resolve these conflicts. He also says they've dramatically increased student access to social, emotional, and mental health services and trained staff to identify those students in need of the extra help. Police say the 16-year-old injured in yesterday's fight did need medical attention, but is expected to make a full recovery.